The Grape Nuts Flakes program, coming to you from the Vanderbilt Theater in New York City, where we're playing to an audience of men on leave from the armed services and starring Jack Benny, with Mary Livingston, Dennis Day, Rochester, and yours truly, Don Wilson, and our guest conductor, Benny Goodman. <laughs> Sarah-like, now that we must divide our meat and meat products with our fighting men, you can help keep your folks fit for their 10 more meals around other nutritious foods that are still thrifty and plentiful. Among these foods are whole grain cereals, such as delicious, toasty brown grape nuts flakes. Grape nuts flakes bring you the valuable nourishment of natural whole wheat, including iron for the blood and two important vitamins, niacin and vitamin B1, for good appetite, steady nerves, and energy. So a generous bowl full of malty, rich grape nuts flakes and milk at breakfast makes a mighty fine start for any day. Let your family enjoy America's most distinctive flake cereal, Grape Nuts Flakes. Delicious, nutritious, and thrifty. played by the orchestra. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from New York City, we bring you that reckless playboy who's been known to light a cigar with a Raleigh cigarette coupon, Jack Benny! Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. Hello again, this is Jack Benny talking. And Don, it was nice of you to call me a playboy, but you're wrong this time. As a matter of fact, I haven't been out of my hotel since we got here Thursday. Oh, you haven't? No, you see, I, uh... <laughs> you know, like a darn fool, I left my money belt in Los Angeles. And I... <laughs> so I got in town broke, you know. Well, why in the world didn't you write out a check? I did write out a check. That's why I couldn't leave the hotel. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, at the, uh, at the Acme Plaza, where I'm staying... The manager locks you in the basement until your check goes through the bank. <laughs> Imagine four days listening to a boiler hiss at me. <laughs> I thought I was playing low state again. <laughs> oh, it was awful, huh? But, Jack, why are you staying at the Acme Plaza? I hear it's an awfully run-down joint. Oh, no, 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 Don. They fixed it up now. They even got a new rope for the elevator. <laughs> And incidentally, it's one of the few hotels in New York that has uh, girl bellhops. Girl bellhops? Say, that's a novelty. What sort of uniforms do they wear? Uh, sweaters. I forget the rest. Oh. <laughs> but they're, they're awfully cute, though. You know? Hello, Jack. How's the boy? Oh, fine, Benny. How are you? Hi. Say, Don, uh, Don, I'd like you to meet uh, Benny Goodman. You know, he's our guest conductor this week. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Goodman? I'm mighty glad to know you. Hey, Jack, is this the guy that was shooting off his mouth all through my opening band number? Well, that was, uh... <laughs> that, that was uh, the commercial. He does that every week. Don't you ever listen to my program? No, what night are you on? <laughs> We're on now. Hmm. Hello, Mary. Hello, Jack. Who's the character with the clarinet? That's Benny Goodman. Oh, Benny, this is Mary Livingston, our comedian. Hello, Benny. Hello, Miss Livingston. I've sure been looking forward to this. Bill Harris, Abe Lyman, Benny Goodman. I have yet to have a band leader who can read English. <laughs> no kidding. Well, huh? oh, how are you, Mary? I haven't seen you since we got off the train. Where are you stopping? Oh, I'm at the Sherry Netherlands, and boy, is it swanky there. What do you mean, swanky? I ordered a three-decker sandwich yesterday, and the <laughs> waiter launched it with a bottle of champagne. <laughs> well, that's pretty swanky, all right, but give me the good old Acme Plaza. 
The Acme Plaza. I can't understand why you stay there, Jack. Well, for one thing, they have very reasonable rats. <laughs> Listen, their rates are reasonable, too. It's a lovely spot. You know, Mary, Jack tells me they've got girl bellhops there. Oh, so that explains it. Explains what? I looked in your diary, and it says, Geraldine is beautiful, tip 25 cents. <laughs> well, Geraldine carried my trunk up. That's worth a quarter. It's pretty heavy, you know. Oh, hello. Hello, Dennis. Hello, Mr. Benny. Oh, boy, you ought to see the hotel I'm staying at. They have girl bellhops, girl desk clerks, girls, girls everywhere. Well, where are you stopping, kid? At the YWCA. <laughs> well, I'd, uh, I'd like to find out just one thing, Dennis. How can a man check into the YWCA? Only a tenor could do it. <laughs> Well, Dallas, Dallas, I think... <laughs> Dallas, I, uh, gee, I hope Fred Allen is listening in. We're getting a lot of laughs tonight. I mean... <laughs> Dallas, I think it's about time for a song. Go ahead, kid. Hold it. Come in. Salutations, Mountie Bank. Falstaff brings you greetings from Fred Allen. <laughs> greetings from Allen? That is precisely why I am here. Oh. Oh, well, go ahead. I bring you greetings from Fred Allen, who's listening to your show today. He's sitting by an open window, hoping the smell will go away. Get out of here! Hey, wait a minute, Paul Staff, come back here! Strangest and the oddest things appear, and what insane and silly things we do. Here is one I see before me, vividly and clear, as I recall it. You. I never dreamt it could be Yes, there you are in love with me I found your lips close to mine So I kissed you And you didn't mind it at all When I'm awake Such a break never happens There's a chance that you care Then please say you do Say it and make my craziest dream come true So I kissed you and you didn't mind it at all When I'm awake such a break never happens How long can a guy the craziest dream sung by Dennis Day and accompanied by Benny Goodman and his orchestra. And Benny, that was a swell musical background. It was really okay. Thanks, Jack. I'm sure glad you got Benny Goodman instead of that band you wanted to hire for tonight. 
What band? Sammy Slotnick and a Staten Island Hawaiian. <laughs> Well, well, they, they play snappy music. And that slogan of theirs, swing and get hot, Nick, with Sammy Slot. <laughs> but that was stolen from somebody. Now, wait a minute, Mary. Listen, Mary. Yes, now, wait, that, that happens to be a very good orchestra. Well, Jack, if they're so good, why aren't they here tonight? Because due to an oversight, they joined the wrong union. They're allowed to fix a sink, but they can't play musical instruments. Anyway, Goodman, you're all right. You can follow Phil Harris, and that's a pretty tough assignment. That's a real compliment, Jack, because I think Phil has one of the finest musical organizations in the country. And now, ladies, and... What? Did, uh... Did you hear that, Mary? Well, Jack, you know how musicians are. They always stick together. Yeah, it's the same way with actors. You never hear one actor running down another one. And now, folks... I'm an actor and I don't like you. <laughs> what? Uh, what did you say, kid? Oh, with my mouth open? I was only thinking... Holy thank you. Well, just be careful what you're thinking about, Dennis. The first thing you know, there'll be a whole... I'll take it. Hello? Well, Gary! Yeah, I've been expecting your call, Gary. Where are you, Gary? That must be Indiana. It can't be Gary Cooper. <laughs> Quiet. Yeah? Yeah, well, sure, Gary. I'm all set and rare to go. Where are you, Slim? Oh, Slim Somerville. That's more like it. <laughs> It's not Slim Somerville, it's Gary, Indiana. I mean, Cooper. Uh, where, where are you, Gary? Say, that's just around the corner. Okay, come right over. Swell, goodbye. Gee, I'm glad he can make it. You know, fellas, Gary and I are going to do the town tonight. You want to come with us, Don? Oh, I'd love to, Jack, but I'm going out later and have a big bowl of toasty brown sweeters and that grape nuts flakes. <laughs> What? You're, you're going to have toasty brown, sweet as a nut, grape nuts flakes at night? Yes, sir. I tell you, Jack, this town is wide open. <laughs> okay, Don, have fun. Hey, Mr. Benny, when Gary Cooper comes up, I've got a swell gag I want to pull on him. A gag? What is it? Well, you know how tall Mr. Cooper is. Yeah. Well, when you introduce me to him, I'm going to say, hello, Gary, how's the weather up there? Hmm. How's the weather up there? Don't you like it, Mr. Benny? No, it's awful. You just hate me because I got blood. <laughs> Listen, I... I don't hate you, Dennis, but that's an old corny gag. Oh, yeah? A guy out in the alley sold it to me for a dollar. You gave, you gave a dollar and got that? Also a package of postcards. <laughs> well, Dennis, if I were you, I'd just... Hey, that must be Gary now. Come in. Well, hello, Gary. Come on in. Hiya, Jack. Are you all set to go? <laughs> hello. Gosh, I'll, uh... Are you ready to do the town? Yep. I got a street guide and my snowshoes and everything. Well, well, you're all set. Yep. Uh, tell you what, Gary, I figure we'd start out... Oh, Jack, Jack, introduce me. Oh, yes, pardon me. Say, Gary, I'd like to have you meet my gang. Uh, this is Mary Livingston. Well, this is a pleasure, Miss Livingston. Kiss me, my love. What? What did you say? Oh, uh, was my mouth open? I was only thinking. <laughs> She's so thrilled, Gary. And, oh, Gary, this is uh, Don Wilson and uh, Benny Goodman. Hello, fellas. And uh, Dennis Day, our young tenor. Hello, Dennis. How's the weather down there? <laughs> hey, that, that's all right, Gary. Hey, what happened? <laughs> Never mind. 
<laughs> no kidding, Gary. That's a swell gag. Yeah, you ought to see the postcards that got with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, e excuse us, fellas. Uh, say, Gary, as long as you and I are stepping out tonight, you know, the hot spots and everything, did you, uh, did you call up any girls? Nope. Well, don't you, don't you know any girls? Yep. Well, don't they like me? Nope. <laughs> oh, well, well, I'll get the, I'll get the girls myself. I've got my little red book right here. Some book. Lillian Russell, Anna Held, Annette Kellerman. Stop peeking. <laughs> well, don't worry, Gary. We're bound to bump into some cuties, the places we're going. Now, Don. Oh, oh just a second, Gary. Hello? Hello, Mr. Benny. This is Rochester. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello, Rochester. It's about time you were phoning me. Where are you? I'm up in Harlem, boss. <laughs> Harlem? That's an old Dutch settlement that's gone hidey hole. <laughs> I know all about it. Look at why is it, Rochester, that every time we come to New York, I can never find you? Where have you been for four days? I got lost. There's a dim out up here in Harlem. <laughs> Well, listen, there's a dim out down here, too. It ain't as dim as I dim out. <laughs> I don't want any excuses. Four days in Harlem. Well, I got business up here, boss. Business by foot. I can just see you now. You're sitting there with a cigar in one hand, a Tom Collins in the other, and a girl on your lap. Is the Tom Collins in my right hand or my left hand? <laughs> It's in your right hand. That's amazing. <laughs> He's psychic, honey. Now, look, Rochester, you're still working for me, and I want you to be at my hotel bright and early tomorrow morning. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, say, boss. Now what? Are you going to wear your new overcoat while you're in New York? Which one? The one I'm getting so many compliments on. <laughs> yes, and bring it back. Goodbye. 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 I want that coat. Go. Well, Benny, Gary and I are going to run along now, so uh, how about a, a good hot band number? Okay, Jackson. Come on, Gary, let's go. Boy, are we going to burn up the town. Oh, fine. Sleepy time down south and Old Man River going to burn up the town. <laughs> well, we are. Hey, what, uh, Gary, uh, what spot, uh, what spot we hit first, kid? Well, Jack, I haven't been to Grant's tomb yet or the planetarium. <laughs> Grant's tomb? Yep. The planetarium? Yep. Well, don't you want to go to a nightclub? Nope. Okay, stubborn head, let's go. <laughs> the planetarium, and I went and took a nap this afternoon. <laughs> well, so long, fellas. See you later.
Uh, come on, Gary. We've seen enough. What do you say we get out of here? No. Nope, nope. Look, Gary, we walked across the Brooklyn Bridge. We saw the Statue of Liberty. We fed the pigeons in Central Park. Now, let's go to a nightclub. Quiet, Jack. I I'm trying to listen. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our visit to the stars, which has been unfolded to you in this magnificent planetarium. <laughs> Right, magnificent. That'll be 25 cents. Please pay as you exit. 25 cents. This is on me, Gary. No, Jack. This time I'll take uh, my shoe off. No, no. I have it right here. Come on. Let's go. Wait a minute, Jack. I want to see. See what they've got in this other room. Okay, okay, planetarium. Wow, this is a big hall. Wow, this is a big hall. You hear that, Gary? There's an echo in here. Hello there. Hello. I'm Jack Benny. I'm Jack Benny. And this is Gary Cooper. What's he doing with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. Come on, Gary, let's go to a nightclub. Hmm, a sightseeing bus. Fine evening I'm having. Are you having fun, Gary? Yep. There he goes with that yup again. Your attention, please, folks. We are now approaching that famous thoroughfare known as the Bowery. On the right is the old Bowery Mission. On the left is the Bucket of Blood Saloon. Gee. And that dump directly ahead of us is the Acme Plaza Hotel. <laughs> it is not. There, there, there. Boy, what a climb. You know, Jack, you can't appreciate how high the Empire State Building is till you walk up here like we're doing. There. There. Listen, Gary. When do we get to the... to the top? We're there now. Boy, it's cold up here. Boy, it's cold up here. I'll go back to the planetarium. Isn't this a, a wonderful view, Jack? Yeah. Got it? There goes my hat. My brand new hat. Your two pages took off. That's a pigeon. With a part in it? All right. Now, please, Gary, let's get out of here and go up to Times Square where there's some action. How about it? Yep. Thank heaven. Well, Gary, here we are on Broadway. Are you thrilled? Yeah! Uh, excuse me. It's all right. You can... you can say yippee. You don't have to be afraid. Yes, sir. Glittering, glamorous Broadway. Johnson are still going strong. <laughs> yes, sir. Gosh, Broadway is crowded tonight. Papers, magazines, all the latest magazines here. Wait a minute, Gary. I want to get a copy of Movie Story Magazine. I, uh, I hear that my picture is on the cover. A copy of Movie Story Magazine, buddy. You bought them all this morning. <laughs> no, are you the same guy? You ought to see it, Gary. There's a swell picture of me right on the cover. Gee, I, I wish I could get my picture on one of those magazines. <laughs> you will one of these days. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's stroll on, huh? Going right in, going right in for all seats. The big girly show is about to start. Hey, Gar uh, Gary, look at those posters, huh? Hot ziggity. You, you think we ought to? <laughs> oh, forget it. No, no. What are we going to say, Gary? Well, I, I thought we might go in and see... Oh, shucks. Let's go home. No, no. Nothing doing, Gary. Come on. I came out for a little excitement tonight. I'm going to have it. Uh, two tickets, please. Come on. Come on. Big girly show on the inside, folks. Step alive, lad. <laughs> Here, 
are two good seats, Gary, if we can get this guy to put his feet down. Huh? All going into our feature attraction, ladies and gentlemen, I will pass among you with Broadway Sam's individually wrapped bonbon. <laughs> Buy a box for a quarter, open it up, and you will find inside a $1 bill, a $5 bill, or a gold wristwatch. Don't eat the candy, it's lousy. <laughs> I can imagine, huh? Who'll be the first to make one of these prize packages? I think I'll buy one, Jack. Oh, don't be a sucker, Gary. But it's only a quarter. I might find a gold wristwatch. Might find, might find. They always say that. Right after this conference, folks, I expect to make a sale. <laughs> oh, shut up. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the feature attraction that you've all been waiting for, the famous dancer and international favorite, Miss Fifi LaRose. <laughs> Gee, she's a pip, isn't she, Gary? Yep. Yes, sir. She dropped her coat. Gary! Now put your elbow down so I can't see anything. <laughs> Say, friends, remember the old story about Jack and the beanstalk? Um, beanstalk. It grew and it grew and it grew. Well, that was just a fairy tale. But the story of the Grape Nuts Flakes beanstalk is true. Yes, Grape Nuts Flakes have been doing a regular beanstalk. Why, during the past three years, Grape Nuts Flakes have grown more than all other ready-to-eat cereals put together. Why? There's a reason, several reasons. For one thing, that malty-rich, sweet-as-a-nut flavor, that grand old Grape Nuts flavor in toasty brown flake form. And for another thing, that remarkable all-around nourishment. For Grape Nuts Flakes are a whole grain cereal with the essential whole grain food values recommended as part of your daily diet by our National Nutrition Program. So join the bandwagon for better breakfast. Serve delicious, nutritious Grape Nuts Flakes, America's fastest growing breakfast cereal. We're a little late, so good night, folks. Friends, when you write Grape Nuts Flakes on your next grocery list, be sure to add Grape Nuts Wheat Meal, delicious, nourishing, hot cereal member of the Grape Nuts family. It brings you that famous flavor of fresh roasted wheat, plus extra vitamin B1. It's extra fast cooking, too. It's rich, hot, brown Grape Nuts Wheat Meal, the taste treat your family will love. This program came to you from New York. This is the National Broadcasting Company. <laughs> <laughs>